with your latest business news now. We are joined by Mike Eppel at 680. Good morning to you, Mike. Yeah, morning, Melanie. The uh, uh, stocks in the spotlight this morning on Bay Street are in the uh, medical marijuana sector. This uh, group of companies has been front and center on the Toronto stock market for the past several weeks. Uh, with, with the advancement of uh, legalization of marijuana coming up next year, a lot of investment cash has been being put into these companies, which have seen huge percentage gains. And on a daily basis, they typically top the trading activity list on the TSX. We'll call them new economy stocks. And this morning, we've got a takeover play. Aurora Cannabis, which is based out of Vancouver. It has operations in Alberta and Quebec, is offering to buy Canamed for a 50% premium over where its stock price was as of yesterday. Now, Aurora Cannabis has seen its own stock price go up 60% in three trading sessions on the TSX. And keep in mind, it's been the most actively traded stock three days in a row. So we'll see where this goes because the talk is that we're, you know, up to this point, it's all just been retail investors. There hasn't been much uh, mutual fund money coming in. If the tobacco industry gets involved or uh, uh, alcohol companies, we already saw Constellation brands buy a piece of canopy growth. This uh, segment could have more room to move to the upside. So we're tracking that today. Uh, having said that, the Toronto and New York markets are poised for another day of selling. In fact, the TSX yesterday was down 113 points. It's on a five-day losing streak. Just earlier this, just a week ago, in fact, the Toronto stock market was at a record high. It's been down ever since. Some profit taking. And the energy related stocks are down because the uh, price for oil is back to about $55 a barrel. It uh, has been uh, on a little bit of a nosedive here in the past couple of trading days. Wall Street's poised for a 130 point drop at the opening of the Dow Jones Industrial Average today. Uh, the European markets are also lower so far this morning. Massive aircraft order, in fact, the biggest ever being announced at the Dubai Air Show, Airbus is selling 430 planes to the operator of Frontier Airlines, which is an ultra low cost airline out of Denver. It's uh, owned by Indigo Partners, which also operates uh, Valeris out of Mexico, Wizz Air out of Hungary, and another ultra low cost carrier out of Chile. So this deal for Airbus worth $49 billion. Boeing also announced a deal this morning to uh, fly Dubai Airlines for over 100 planes, $29 billion. So a lot of uh, big money being spent there. And it's all about taxes, again, being debated uh, yesterday in the fall fiscal update by the Ontario provincial government talking about lowering the small business tax rate to help offset the increase that is planned for minimum wages at the start of next year. And uh, the Canadian Federation of Independent Business saying that's not going to be enough, but uh, again, a uh, subject to debate. And in the United States, Kevin, they're back talking today about tax reform in Washington. And uh, just when you thought it couldn't get even more complex, the talk is they're going to try to put parts of the repeal of Obamacare tied to tax reform. How's that going to work out? It, it, this is, it, you know, it has been like watching a soap opera, yeah. watching this tax reform bill make its way through the houses. And then, of course, just a couple of days ago, uh, the president said, well, let's change this, this and this. Uh, they still don't have a coherent piece of legislation to try and get through. And right now we're seeing the markets. They're getting kind of they're tired of this and nervous. they're reacting. Yeah. But if you take away parts of Obamacare, then you save billions of dollars in government money. And guess what? You can put that back into uh, tax reduction for personal income taxes or corporate tax cuts. So they might actually, even though it's convoluted, have a winner out of this. We'll see if they can actually get it done by the end of the year. I, d I doubt it. Highly, <laughs> highly doubt it. All right. Thank you, Mike.